Explore Japan's super modern fishing fleet, where cutting edge technology combines with strategic net fishing to harvest hundreds of tons of fish every day. These ships use advanced electronics to locate fish and pull in giant nets full of catch within hours. The story of this fleet is not only about technology, but also about precision and finesse in every journey at sea. The method entails dragging a net along the seabed, specifically targeting species such as cod and halibut. This practice is not merely a fishing technique, it is a cornerstone of the fishing economy in Iceland, underpinning the livelihoods of many. However, despite its efficiency, bottom trolling is not without its challenges. The non-selective nature of this method raises concerns, as it risks the over-exploitation of fish populations and disrupts the delicate balance of the seabed ecosystem. In response to these challenges, Iceland has implemented stringent regulations alongside advanced technologies. This proactive approach aims to safeguard sustainable fishing practices while minimizing environmental damage and preserving the rich tapestry of marine life. Moreover, marine protected areas have been established throughout Iceland, meticulously designed to shield sensitive ecosystems. These areas either prohibit fishing entirely or limit harmful practices like bottom trolling, thus enhancing overall biodiversity and marine health. As part of the ongoing evolution in the fishing industry, significant investments are being made in environmentally friendly technologies and methods. Innovations such as new nets and sophisticated monitoring systems strive to reduce ecological damage while simultaneously supporting sustainable practices. Furthermore, training programs for fishermen emerge as a pivotal element in promoting sustainable fishing practices. These initiatives are designed to mitigate the adverse impacts of various fishing methods, while workshops foster knowledge sharing and best practices within the fishing community. Regional fisheries conferences play a crucial role in this ecosystem of sustainability, providing a vital platform for discussions between fishermen and scientists. These dialogues focus on protecting the marine environment and devising sustainable development solutions, emphasizing that collaboration is indeed the key. In pursuit of sustainability, Icelandic fishermen are increasingly adopting fuel-efficient engines and clean technologies. This transition not only reduces CO2 emissions but also minimizes the environmental impacts of fishing practices, thus proving vital for the industry's future. Marine biological research conducted in Iceland continuously informs sustainable management decisions regarding fish populations and ecosystems. This data is invaluable, shaping effective conservation strategies that resonate deeply within the fishing community. Equally important are the preservation methods employed for mackerel, including rapid freezing techniques that ensure fish quality for export markets. This meticulous process holds significant importance, especially when fish are intended for raw consumption. Sustainable practices in mackerel fishing, particularly in Japan, emphasize a targeted approach. By focusing on specific fish schools while avoiding seabed damage, fishermen help maintain healthy populations and foster the balance within marine ecosystems. Modern technology, such as sonar and radar, plays a critical role in locating mackerel schools, thus facilitating efficient fishing efforts. These advanced tools enable accurate net casting, even under challenging oceanic conditions. Moreover, the use of specially designed nets is essential for catching mackerel. These nets are crafted to encircle the target species effectively, minimizing bycatch of non-target species, thereby reinforcing sustainability in fishing practices. Advanced technologies, including sonar and GPS, continue to enhance fishing efficiency by accurately locating fish schools. This precision translates into significant reductions in time and energy waste during fishing operations, leading to a more sustainable approach. Lastly, the implementation of vacuum pumps in the fishing process plays a crucial role. This system ensures that fish are transferred quickly and safely to the deck, particularly critical for maintaining the high quality of fish intended for sashimi. Traditional Japanese fishing techniques, including the renowned per sun and set nets, stand as testaments to a rich maritime culture. Employed primarily during the yellowtail migration seasons, these time-honored methods yield remarkable success for fishermen, evoking intrigue about their enduring effectiveness. Upon capture during the spring, yellowtail undergoes immediate processing to ensure peak freshness. Local markets see a swift distribution of some fish, while others are frozen or transformed into exquisite sashimi, tantalizing the palate of a broader audience. What implications does this have for local economies? The incorporation of advanced technology, such as sophisticated fish-finding sonar, revolutionizes the approach to locating schools of yellowtail. This precise method markedly boosts fishing efficiency, raising questions about how technology continues to reshape traditional industries. Processing facilities dedicated to yellowtail are equipped with modern innovations that guarantee freshness. 
These facilities not only facilitate quick freezing but also enable the creation of value-added products like sushi-grade fillets, thereby significantly enhancing market appeal. But how does modernization impact traditional fishing communities? Understanding the migration patterns of yellowtail reveals the intricate relationship between environmental conditions and their life cycle. Influenced by ocean currents and temperature, these factors are pivotal in determining fishing success, which continues to captivate the interest of marine biologists and fishermen alike. The nutrient-rich waters provided by the Kuroshio current are crucial in nurturing a vibrant marine ecosystem, essential for the feeding habits of yellowtail. This dynamic interaction not only establishes an ideal environment for their migration, but also prompts exploration into broader marine ecological impacts. With a rich history, the oasis fishing culture thrives, where families pass down extensive fishing knowledge and techniques through generations. This profound connection between the community and the sea fosters a sense of identity and continuity, raising questions about the preservation of such traditions in modern times. Fishing cooperatives emerge as vital entities in the management of aquatic resources, meticulously setting quotas and ensuring sustainable practices. Their increasingly prominent role within Japan's fisheries signals a growing awareness of environmental stewardship. What challenges lie ahead in balancing tradition with sustainability? Yellowtail embodies significant cultural value in Japan, symbolizing prosperity and celebration, particularly during local festivals and traditional culinary celebrations. This cultural connection not only enhances community identity but also positions Yellowtail as a focal point of culinary artistry. How does this influence regional pride? The advent of modern processing facilities has markedly improved both the quality and efficiency of Yellowtail production, catering to a diverse array of domestic and international markets. This surge in demand for Japanese seafood raises inquiries about the sustainability of such rapid growth. Tourism acts as a pivotal force, with visitors drawn to taste local seafood and engage with the fishing process firsthand. This vibrant interaction not only strengthens community ties to their natural resources but also fosters a deeper appreciation for the fishing heritage, prompting reflections on the future of local tourism. Technological advancements in fishing methods, including sonar and fish-finding radar, have truly transformed long-standing practices. These innovations enhance fishing efficiency while consciously addressing environmental impacts, inviting exploration into the potential of technology to balance productivity and ecological responsibility. Predictive tools designed to monitor weather patterns and ocean currents provide vital real-time data on current strength and storm forecasts. This innovative approach supports fishermen in making informed decisions, yet it also poses questions regarding the reliance on technology in traditional practices. Advanced net designs have emerged to minimize bycatch while fostering sustainability, allowing non-target species to escape unharmed. This progressive approach not only supports healthy marine ecosystems but also ignites a conversation about responsible fishing practices in an ever-evolving industry. Flash freezing technology stands as a monumental advancement, preserving fish quality and ensuring optimal freshness for both local markets and international exports. This leap forward significantly enhances supply chain efficiency, compelling industry leaders to contemplate the future trajectory of seafood distribution. Education and communication regarding marine protection remain paramount for enhancing public awareness, which plays a pivotal role in supporting fishermen in their pursuit of sustainable practices. Such initiatives ensure the long-term viability of fishery resources. However, challenges loom large as climate change and marine pollution significantly threaten the fishing industry, jeopardizing fish stocks and their habitats. Addressing these pressing issues demands a unified approach from a multitude of stakeholders. In this context, community-based marine resource management emerges as a beacon of hope, empowering fishermen to collaboratively manage resources, share responsibilities, and reap the benefits of sustainable practices. This model cultivates a profound sense of ownership and commitment towards conservation. As we explore the broader implications, it becomes evident that international cooperation among countries is indispensable in tackling marine resource exploitation, as these challenges frequently transcend national borders. Coordinated efforts are essential to implement effective environmental protection measures. Furthermore, awareness and education regarding marine environmental protection significantly enhance public engagement, driving community involvement in conservation efforts. This involvement becomes crucial in securing sustainable practices for generations to come. As we delve into technological advancements, innovative tools such as GPS tracking and smart netting devices emerge, offering enhanced fishing efficiency while minimizing environmental impact. These innovations are instrumental in advancing sustainable fishing initiatives. Moreover, bolstering marine ecosystem resilience through targeted restoration programs proves vital for sustaining healthy fisheries. 
The protection of sensitive marine areas facilitates the recovery of biodiversity and enhances fish populations. In addition to these measures, raising consumer awareness regarding sustainable fishing practices is of utmost importance. Strategic communication campaigns and certifications guide consumers in selecting environmentally friendly and sustainably harvested products. Further emphasizing the need for collaborative efforts, cooperative initiatives among coastal countries are essential for effective resource management. International agreements and ongoing research are critical in ensuring that fishing activities align with sustainability goals. Equally crucial, community-based management models empower fishermen to take ownership of marine resource protection. This active involvement nurtures greater commitment and effectiveness in the enforcement of fishing policies. Investment in research and development also holds the key to discovering innovative management methods. A comprehensive understanding of marine biology and ecosystem interactions can lead to enhanced resource management strategies. Moreover, international cooperation and agreements facilitate the vital sharing of information among countries. Such collaborative efforts serve to bolster the protection and sustainable management of marine resources on a global scale. Financial investment from governments can additionally incentivize fishermen to embrace sustainable practices, alleviating the initial costs associated with adopting environmentally friendly methods and equipment. Collaboration among fisheries, tourism, and environmental organizations is paramount in developing sustainable models for economic growth, ensuring that prosperity does not come at the expense of marine ecosystems. Finally, education and awareness programs play a critical role in underscoring the importance of sustainable fishing. Initiatives involving community workshops and campaigns seek to bolster public knowledge, paving the way for a more sustainable future.